we have the great fortune of living during the photonics revolution. Photonics is the science, practice, and technology of manipulating light. It is based on light waves and photons, which are the fundamental particles that make up light. Case in point, a photon checked into a hotel and the bellhop asked if it needed help with its luggage. The photon replied, no thanks, I'm traveling light. <laughs> <laughs> Photonics is advancing technology with a deluge of optical and laser applications. From communications, laser surgery, sensors, self-driving cars, and solar panels, to high-speed internet, video on demand, barcode scanners, analytics, quantum computing, and metamaterials with the so-called invisibility cloak for all the Harry Potter fans out there. I'm here to provide a glimpse into the emerging and consequential field of photonics with its important applications to date. I will compare photons in photonics with electrons in electronics, pointing out that photons have distinct advantages over electrons in certain situations. Plus, I'll focus on today's challenges of overcoming bottlenecks in data communication and the shortfall of workers at all levels in the photonics manufacturing industry. My colleague in the physics department, Professor Ruby Gu, drew my attention to the amazing field of photonics several years ago. Since then, we have made it our mission to work with government officials and leaders in academia and industry to ensure that students are being educated for the technical jobs that already exist, as well as those on the horizon. Diving deeper into the communications application, what advantages do photons traveling through fo optical fibers have over electrons traveling through traditional copper wires? Essentially, light allows immense amounts of data to travel vast distances with minimal power loss. One way this is achieved is with something called wavelength division multiplexing, which is, when, which is when many wavelengths or colors of light are used to transmit signals inside a single optical fiber. This communication rainbow allows a considerable amount of information to be sent along a single channel simultaneously. Individual optical fibers are then bundled together and used to send data as pulses of light around the world at the blink of an eye. For comparison, try downloading your favorite two-hour HD movie using a copper wire with a 100 megabits per second connection, and you'll be waiting nearly six and a half minutes. An optical fiber at 1,000 megabits per second only 38 seconds. The tremendous growth in electronics during the end of the 20th century cannot be overstated. Back in 1950, computers were slow, prohibitively expensive, enormous, and limited. The technology of the electronic integrated circuit trans or chip transformed electronics by incorporating components like transistors, resistors, and capacitors onto the surface of a semiconductor wafer to 
typically silicon. As we know today, the chip drastically reduced the cost, size, and weight of electronics while increasing computing speed, durability, and functionality, bringing a host of digital appliances into our homes and eventually smartphones into each of our hands. During the 21st century, we have seen appreciable growth with the advancing technology of the photonic integrated circuit, or PIC. In integrated photonics, tiny channels called waveguides are fabricated onto a semiconductor wafer such as silicon, which importantly is the same material typically used for electronics. Waveguides are used to steer photons through narrow paths and into devices at dimensions less than the cross-section of a human hair. The devices that comprise PICs include light sources and detectors, as well as ways to modulate and process light. The effects of combining electronics with modern photonics are staggering. But how do we transmit, transform um, optical signals and electronic signals back and forth? One way is to use the electronic signal to control a photonics modulator to chop a continuous stream of light into discrete pulses and send them into an optical fiber, thus creating an optical signal that can be reinterpreted by electronic devices on the other end as zeros and ones. Today we face a significant challenge in terms of information and communication um, technology. Over the past few decades, internet traffic grew exponentially by nine orders of magnitude, exceeding a zettabyte in 2017, which is 10 to the 21 bytes. Moreover, power consumption in networks is now astronomical with CO2 emissions comparable to those from air traffic. To appreciate data congestion, think about all the devices that we connect to the internet wirelessly. A portable computer, printer, car, smartphone, tablet, TV, watch, Beyond our devices, signals of light fly through optical fibers to data centers in which a large number of servers are arranged in interconnected racks. Once inside the data center, however, a bottleneck occurs as the optical signal has to be converted to an electronic one to accommodate the thousands of servers that communicate with one another by electrons. The challenge today is to solve the serious problems of limited bandwidth and heat waste in data centers. Optical interconnects can help by integrating photonic and electronic devices together more effectively and efficiently, thus drastically reducing the sprawling space needed for data centers with the associated power demands and heat waste. The silicon photonics market is booming. From 2013 to 2019, the value of the market grew from $23 million to $188 million, and it's predicted to quadruple in the next five years due to advances in communications, data centers, and high-performance computing. With this positive outlook, it's surprising that there is already a shortfall of workers in the photonics manufacturing industry at all levels, but particularly in terms of photonics technicians 
whom I like to call photicians. Without photicians, manufacturing in this game-changing technology will stall. In fact, Massachusetts alone is facing a shortage of 50,000 technicians in manufacturing and technology industries today, a trend seen across the country. Asking us today how photonics will transform our lives is like asking someone back in 1950 how electronics would affect their lives. But just imagine if we could sustain the trajectory of photonics design and manufacturing, the bottleneck in data communication will be reduced, wireless internet demands will be met, and power consumption, along with CO2 emissions, will diminish. And that is just what we know now. Thank you.